So you want to succeed in life, but you don't want to go to a HBCU, or you're not even considering a HBCU. Ah, my dear, what are you doing with your life? What? Tell me what. Welcome back to my channel. So today, 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 I wanted to talk about my HBCU experience and share with you seven reasons why I think you should go to a HBCU, especially if you're an international student, you want to go to a HBCU. I mean, you're trying to succeed in life, so why not? Why not consider a HBCU? My HBCU has done so much for me and I really feel like people will benefit more by going to a HBCU. So I just wanted to come on here and share with you seven reasons why you should attend the HBCU. Before we get into it, please do um, hit the subscribe button down below. I know you love seeing this pretty face of mine and I have good content to share anyway. So just hit the subscribe button down below and you know, hit the notification bell beside it so you can get notified when I post my videos. And don't forget to like this video, and comment down below, and let's get started. So um, the first reason why you should go to a HBCU is to um, learn about the culture, black culture, and also the change of perception about you know African Americans. So my um, perception of African Americans, you know, all of it came from the media because I had never really interacted with one before, right? Well, that was before I came to the US. Just so we're clear all my perception of african americans came uh from the media and so um it was essential um for me to interact with them one-on-one -on -one, for me to be able to you know get to know them better get to know their history and just generally challenge my ideas about them being at the hbcu has um actually taught me a lot about black culture black history and um you know much more than i was even able to learn in my history classes so um you know i learned about things like juneteenth i'd never heard of juneteenth uh, before i came to hbcu so being able to experience this type of thing and you know get get uh, learn more about this type of thing was important for me to you know grow as a person and be a well-rounded person but yeah, I learned about Juneteenth, I learned about um, the Greek life, the whole Divine Nine and all of that. And it's been an amazing experience being as a HBC. I've learned so much about Black history, Black culture, struggles of the Black community. I learned so much about um, what it's like to live in America as a Black person um, by going to my HBC, HBCU because, you know, we have all these conversations about that. And it's just been a very enlightening experience for me. And so I encourage anybody who, whether you're black, white, yellow, blue, whatever you are, I encourage you to go to HBCU because it will expose you to a lot of new things and you'll learn a lot of things that you probably will not have learned in your history classes. Number two reason why you should go to a HBCU is for the small setting. So HBCUs have a small, uh, well, most, I think most of them, my school has the small setting, smaller classes, um, smaller number of students in classes and you know you can interact with the professors one-on-one -on -one. you can ask some questions in class professors know you one-on-one -on -one. they know your name they are able to tell who is doing well in class who is not doing well in class and able to help each person you know according to the level at which they are at you can go meet them at their office hours and all of that so it's just a very close knit family kind of setting and i really liked it because i don't know how that coped if i had to be in class with 300 other students you know and not being able to access my professors as frequently as, as, as i'm able to access my professors here at the hbcu so for that small close a close date family kind of feel and you know personalized help and all of that from your professor i really think you should go to a hbcu because it is so key to you getting more out of your college experience so i really think that if you want to have that kind of you know wonderful college experience where you're able to be friends with the professor and you know have more personal relationships uh you should go to a hbcu what are the personal relationships i don't mean inappropriate personal relationship but just like being um, much more friendly with the professors and you know other staff and everything not inappropriate relationships we don't we don't encourage that at hbcu <laughs> just so we're clear though number three reason why you should go to hbcu is that it is affordable it is very 
very affordable like hbc used charge way less tuition than larger pwis or um, other bigger institutions you know they charge way less according to us news and world report hbcus that were members of the united negro college fund charge about six thousand dollars less in tuition than other institutions hbcus charge 26 percent less fees than other institutions even for anything why not why not save yourself some coins and get quality education at the hbcu you will get good education as a hbcu for way less price that you pay at another school so take for example international students international students pay a lot of money when it comes to schooling in the u.s on the average international students pay about 20 if you go to a pwi international students pay about twenty thousand dollars per semester for tuition that is just tuition right but if you go to a hbcu international students pay at least for undergrads this is for undergrads not for grad students if you watch my other video i'll put a link to it up up where i talk about the expenses for grad students and undergrads international students in the u.s so you want to go check that out so for international students right they charge about twenty thousand dollars at the pwi for per semester for instance for undergrad international students but at the hbcu um at least for me they charge me about twelve to fourteen thousand i've never paid more than fourteen thousand in tuition and on top of that i got a scholarship which helped slash my tuition by half so i was paying like 6k 7k per semester so you see that you you pay way less in tuition than you would at the pwi I'm not sure about how much easier it is to get scholarships at the PH HBCU versus a PWI, but I would assume it's more easier because I, mean, I have a friend who went to a PWI and she didn't really get a lot of scholarships as much as I did. So I don't know if that's just um, specific to us, but at the PWI, I would expect that it's harder to get a scholarship than at the HBCU. You want to look into that, if not for anything, if not for anything, I would encourage going to HBC because it is very affordable because you know those dollars they add up and by the time you you know calculate all the fees you see you're saving yourself more than six seven thousand dollars in tuition if not for anything go for the money for the money <laughs> so number four reason why you should go to a HBC is that HBCUs were literally made for you. So before 1964, when no other schools wanted to educate African Americans, HBCUs rose up to the task. They were created to um, give higher education to African Americans. So they're dedicated to your success. All of their resources are geared towards seeing you win and succeed, right? So why not go to a school where they really care about your well-being, they care about you succeeding, and they want to see you win? and they put all of the time and energy and resources into that i mean it's a no-brainer right so according to a, a survey that was done 55 percent of hbcu grads said that their school did prepare them for um life after graduation as compared to 30 percent who didn't uh, go to a hbcu and i really feel like that's true because my school really puts in they put in the effort when it comes to like preparing us for life after graduation. We have lots of resources and opportunities, um, you know, get what's helping us, you know, prepare for life after graduation and all of that. So I really feel like my school or HBCU, they really put in their energy and pour into you. And that is something you want as part of your college experience. Also, in another survey that was done, 51% um, of HBCU grads said they are doing well financially as compared to 29% of people who didn't go to a HBCU. So, I mean, I could, the stats don't lie. The numbers don't lie. So, um, HBCUs are definitely preparing their students for life after graduation. They're definitely um, producing productive people and, you know, just generally pouring wonderful human beings into the society and these human beings go on to do excellently well they're doing well financially and you know they're better prepared to handle life after graduation so you want to go to a school that will pour into you and really dedicate all of their resources and time to you number five reason why you should go to a hbc is for homecoming you can see by the smile on my face that homecoming is no joke <laughs> Homecoming is very like homecoming is lit. Homecoming is very interesting in HBCUs. I believe all HBCUs have homecoming. It's a weekend experience with different kind of fun activities. There's a game um, which is the highlight of the of the week. 
and so your school football team plays against another school and basically you, uh, students come out to support their school and it's usually a fun time to just meet new people, eat new food, alumni will come back to campus and hang out and just meet new people. Look at see other alumni who are doing well, get encouraged and motivated to work harder and just enjoy life, enjoy your school and it's a wonderful time. There's a parade, there's everything like it's so much fun during homecoming. There are lots of parties and all of that. Ah, I really like homecoming because that's the time when I get to be, you know, able to be free after all the um, semesters, hard work and all of that. Well, it's usually in the middle of fall semester, halfway into the semester's hard work then they let you, they allow you to let off some steam and then you continue. I just like um, homecoming because it's a lot of fun and it's just a way to loosen up, meet people, hang out with your friends, attend parties and all of that. It's a very fun time um, and you don't want to miss it. I don't know how some people are able to stay in their houses during homecoming week. I don't understand it. It is beyond me. But yeah, homecoming is lit. Um, if you check on YouTube, you'll see so many people sharing their homecoming experiences and, you know, show you how awesome and great it is. You don't want to miss homecoming. People who are, who don't even go to homecoming or who their schools don't host homecoming, they do go to HBCUs that their friends attend just so they can attend homecoming. Like for that weekend or something, they'll come, they'll travel down to go meet their friends at their HBCU and attend the parties with them and just hang out and have fun. Homecoming is late. That's all I can say. You have to experience it for yourself to really understand. But yeah. Number six reason why you should go to a HBCU is for all the networking and job opportunities available. I've been at my HBCU for about two to three years now and in this that short time frame I've been able to travel to about eight different states um all due to the opportunity that my school has afforded me right so because of my school i've been able to meet with different companies like top companies especially like tech companies and all of that i've been able to meet with like executive leaders of companies have a talk with them and just pick the brain and all of that and it's been an ex it's been an amazing experience and i don't think i'd have really had this type of opportunity if i had gone to another school right Going to HBCU really opens a lot of doors and opportunities for you. I've been able to talk with people from Amazon, Google, Goldman, and a bunch of other top companies just because of the opportunities that my school has afforded me. I've been able to go for conferences and leadership institutes and all of that. All of these opportunities are available at the HBCU near you. You just need to consider enrolling at one and all of these will be open to you. I've been able to, you know, interview with different big companies because of you know all the opportunities afforded to me by my school i don't like say of opportunities afforded to me but that is what it is they've really my school has really opened some doors for me and i'm really proud of my school and i'm happy i went to my school i really think with the whole diversity and inclusion buzz it also makes sense to go to a hbcu because when it comes to diversity and inclusion, um, HBCUs are also one of the target one of the target schools that H that companies look at to recruit and all of that. So going to HBCU is definitely a good idea because why not? You have great networking and job opportunities available there, and it's I mean that's what you want, right? That's the whole point of going to school so that you can be able to network with these people eventually and get a job. So I mean, if you're going to school where that's not available, I don't know what you're doing with your life. And now the final reason why you should go to a HBCU is for the diversity. So a lot of people think that because it's a HBCU, a historically black college, that there's no diversity. Mm, that is absolutely false. There is a lot of diversity at um, HBCUs. In 2018, 24% of people who were enrolled at HBCUs were non-blacks. So that means other people of other races are enrolling at HBCUs. And I mean, why not? Because like I said, like I mentioned previously, HBCUs afford a lot of opportunities. So people are finally realizing this and they're coming to HBCUs. So there's a lot of diversity at HBCUs and in my classes, I have a mix of different people. We have white, black, yellow, blue, whatever you are. We have different types of people in my classes, and it's not only black students. You want to go to a school with that kind of diversity um, because the world is very diverse, right? The world is not full of only white or only black or only yellow, only blue or whatever. You want to go to a school that will prepare you 
for again for life after graduation because to enable it because it will enable you to um, be able to learn how to work with people from other races and all of that. And at my school, they make us work in groups a lot, like a lot, like a lot. Everything we do, not everything we do, but almost all our projects and lab books and all of that, we do in group. Well, except your reports, you do your reports individually. But most of our projects, we do it in groups. So working in groups with people who look like you and also do not look like you, um, it's, a, it's a great way to like prepare you for what life in corporate America or whatever other ventures you choose to do. We have a lot of diversity at HBCU, so don't be fooled thinking that, oh, it's gonna be only black students. No, honey, it's a mix. Uh, it's a mix. We have both white, black, Hispanic, and people from other different cultures and races. So yeah, those are the seven reasons why I think you should go to HBCU. And let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section down below. If you're going to HBCU and you're an international student, tell me in the, section down below, in the comment section down below what your experience has been like, why you chose your school, and you know, just generally share what you think about the whole experience. And don't forget to subscribe down below. Thank you for watching today's video and I will see you guys in my next one.